guys, it's me, Jess. And today, I'm gonna show you my bathroom. Because I told you, oh hey, whenever I get this put together and get it decorated, I'm gonna share it with you. Because if you haven't already seen my vanity sink DIY, I will put that up in the cards for you. And I definitely changed the, the vanity. It changed the whole look of this space and I love it. So I'm just gonna show you and I'm gonna tell you where everything is from so that if you like it, you can hopefully find it yourself <laughs> um, in store. Cause a lot of stuff is like kind of new. I didn't have a lot of stuff to hang in here because the angles, the angles are everywhere. And I needed small things to just kind of like hang up on the walls, make it kind of fun, Halloween-esque teal skull vibes. That's what I'm going for. So you can let me know if that happened. Let me show you first what it looked like when I moved in a year ago. Let's reminisce on this ugly bathroom. And I'll show you what it looks like now. Let me give you a wide shot of kind of what it looks like going to my bathroom. I mean, it's a really cool like entryway with the peak going up. There is no door to this bathroom, which I'm cool with. This is kind of like our master suite up here. So it's not a big deal, like whatever. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. So you can see, I'm just gonna do like a sweep. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. Is this good, this angle? This lens is not a wide lens, so we're just going to step on inside and go over here by the doorway. Um, don't look at all this. I just got done cleaning and I gotta put some laundry away. And that back there blocks power when, when he has to stay in the bedroom because he cannot be trusted. Anyways, I need to put my laundry away. So over here, you can see Oh, I can't back up any further. This space is very small. Um, this is right next to the doorway and I've got a few things hung up here. If you saw my Halloween decor haul that I just put up, I'll put that in the cards too. You can see where I got these. So I got this trick or treat yourself, haunted Halloween and hocus pocus. I got those from at home and they look awesome. Like show you like that I kind of put it in like a descending kind of fashion so that they would be going down the wall and then right here I have this mirror that's where I sit and do my hair brush my teeth all that stuff because there is no way I could put a mirror above the sink because of the slanting action I got this at like Target it's like really cheap and then this awesome stool my aunt got me when I was 16 and it works, it works well. I've been thinking about, like I've had it kind of covered like this. I think she got it at a thrift shop actually. Um, Cause like the padding is kind of worn down. So I'm thinking about changing the top of it um, just because I've definitely worn the crap out of it since I've had it for that long. And I really love it. It's so cute. I love the cheetah on top. I think it gives a little spice to in here because there's like kind of black and all those fun colors in there. So here, is the sink which i painted gray with chalkboard paint and i'll you know link that up below or link that over here but this is what the vanity looks like it is absolutely huge like it's really big and there's no way i could put a mirror there i do want to put something like behind there i don't know some sort of words or um i don't really know i need to look for something maybe a light up um sign you know how they say love and stuff Maybe something like that. But on my vanity, I don't have anything over here because this is where I normally lay like my straightener or curler or whatever. I'll put a towel down and put that here because the plug is right there. But this awesome striped set I got from Walmart. And I think they still have it actually. Um, I got that when we first moved into the house. This right here, which I have all my um moisturizers some lip scrub i have this 
Sephora sample I got. Sucks, don't use that. And my e.l.f. is almost gone. So it has little tiny skulls all over it. And then down here I have soap for my beauty blenders. I used to clean my beauty blenders and then I have contacts, my glasses. And this really cute, I don't know what it's called, um, tray thing I got at Ross. It was super affordable. I think I found it last year um, during Halloween. So basically whenever it's Halloween, that's when I shop for my everyday decor. And over here, this really, really cute mermaid, um, I don't know, what is this called, like a holder? I have my beauty blenders in it, or beauty sponges, I should say, because they're not beauty blenders. That's from At Home. This one over here is also from At Home that I just have my floss and stuff and little thingies for this flosser over here. And it looks super cute. And then over here, oh, I should probably do my rugs, right? So this rug, is a memory foam rug. It's very nice. I got these on Black Friday um, at Walmart. And I got one here and then I got one over here. But right now we're gonna go to my little corner area. I love the built-ins in this house. It has great built-ins. So let's go over here. I don't know if you saw, but there was a towel rack here and it was disgusting. Like it was all rusted and ugly. And I was like, take that. So I took that off the wall. And then I remembered, oh, I have this really cool bird thing <laughs> that I found at Old Time Party when I worked there. That was like ages ago. I, it was like, I hated the job, but I loved the people I worked with. So there's that. Anyways, found this there. It was only a few dollars. I had Michael screw it into the wall for me. And then I just put my towels on it. So right now I just have my skull towel, the Betsy Johnson one um, from Ross. And then I have a donut because life, I don't know, it came in a bath bomb. And then over here on this wall that has the built-in, I put this little guy. It says, there is magic in the night when pumpkins go by midnight. And I found that in the dollar spot at Target last year. And I decided to put that up. I just put it up and it looks great because there's the one inside too. So this little nook here, um, I decided to put a lot of stuff in. <laughs> so the skull thing is super glittery and that's also from the Dollar Spot Target last year. They have a lot of cute stuff for Halloween so definitely make sure and check that out. This, um, I think my mom gave that to me like a really long time ago, um, probably three or four years ago, but you can normally find ones that look like that. Um, maybe not just teal, but I've seen a lot of them like at Ross and stuff. This little guy is actually a flower which is really cute. I freaking love it. I found it thrifting and it's just a really pretty blue glass and I put all my little cotton swabs in there. Or not cotton swabs, but cotton rounds. And I love it. And then I have a little skull guy. So he keeps all my ear swabs, my ear swabbies. So I put all of them in there and I think it looks really, really cute like with all the blues and the teal and the black. That's my theme. Okay, we shall move on. Over here is my little um, Day of the Dead skull tin, or Day of the Dead skull basket. I think this was actually for trick or treating, like for trick or treaters, but I saw it, I think it was in the dollar spot as well, and I was like, I have to have that because I'm gonna put my towels in it. So I just have hand towels right there. And there's not any storage in this bathroom because it's insanely small. <laughs> I mean, it's not insanely small, but it's pretty small with the angles of the roof and stuff. So there's no like linen cabinet or anything like that. So I just put my hand towels there. And then I also have like a little thing outside this room that I had bigger towels in. For when I take a shower or I take a bath, this bath, you might think, oh, hey, there's no way you can fit in there. Watch me. I am now in here chilling and it is pretty nice. It's like all angled. Let me show you the angles. I do have this really, really cool chandelier thing because I want to be fancy. Like fancy people have chandeliers over their tub. I decided to have a chandelier over my tub too. <laughs> no, I got this at Michael's. It's part of the Martha Stewart collection. So this is my little nook in here. I don't really take baths that much unless I want to use a bath bomb. So 
there's that. I don't use this very often, but when I do, I have a bath bomb and I relax. It is dripping. I'll have to tell my uncle about that. <laughs> so in this nook, I just have really pretty glass jars. This did have twinkle lights in it, but I think they died. And I got all this thrifting. I like to thrift. And then I have this little marble thingy. I'm not really sure where I got that, maybe Target. And then I have my razor, go Venus. Here's a better look at that area, if you were wondering. Um, there's the chandelier, cause you know, I'm fancy. Over here, I have this really cute setup and these, I wanted something to go in here to put more stuff on because I feel like it just needed more decor. And I bought these from Michael's, these little wooden bins, I guess. And they're $10 each. I painted them white and then I stacked them on top of each other. I didn't even nail it down or anything. It's just stacked and it works perfectly fine. This is my toilet paper holder. My mom gave me that. It works great. And over here, I have my little skull decor. He is from at home. Then here, little lantern, he lights up. Um, he's from Ross last year. Candle is from Ross last year. I don't burn it, I just like the way it looks. And I made this. <laughs> so I made this really cool skull. I got the star from skull from Michaels. And then I just hot glued all these jewels on it and gave him a really big pearl eye. And he looks really cute and I love him. And the sign is from Michaels last year. The skeleton is from Michaels two years ago. My mom actually just gave me him because she didn't want him anymore. And I was like, hey, everyday decor. And <laughs> this is a bath bomb unicorn. I have a few more bath bombs in his head. Down here I have, I believe a mermaid sign, which I don't really know where it's from. This little guy here, this bath bomb, which is a mermaid tail, that is from Bath and Body Works. So is he. So is this one, which is a unicorn. And the horn is from Walmart. And then I just got this really cute glass, I don't know what it's called really, apothecary jar maybe, from Michaels, and I put bath bombs in it. On the toilet, I have a skull, and he lights up. Fancy. I think I also got him from Michaels. And then over here, I just have stupid toilet stuff, cleaner, and toilet paper, and a really ugly trash can I don't like because it's ugly. And then over here, I just have a really cute ornament that I got from at home, and you can find that there now. That is it. If you guys have any decor questions, definitely leave me a comment down below. Um, you would think not having a mirror above the sink would be a big deal. I know I definitely thought that. This is not comfortable. How do people do this? Um, I definitely thought that that was going to be a big issue for me, but it turns out I can do a lot of things without looking in a mirror. And then if I need to do my hair and stuff, I just sit down by the mirror and do my hair. So yes, I love it. I love, I love this bathroom now. I love the decor I put up. It looks so cute. And I guess that's it. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, definitely leave me a comment down below. And then also, if you have any video suggestions, leave me a comment down below. I've been stuck. <laughs> Cause I don't know what to film sometimes. And I know you guys said you like these um, kind of like room makeovers. So I might show you like another room soon or if you have a suggestion for a room you guys would like to see in my house, um, leave me a comment down below and I'll show you, I guess, um, kind of what it looks like. I'm still in the decorating phase a lot in my house. We've only been here, we haven't even been here a year because we moved in September. So I'm just trying to get things together still. And I get into phases of like, I want to decorate this house. And then I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of what happens. So if you guys have any sort of suggestions, leave me a comment down below. If you like this video, make sure and give this video a big thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure and hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. It looks like it's gonna storm outside. Check back every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday for new videos and click that button.